Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and with my time in Glasgow um, sort of coming to an end, I thought I'd give you an update as to what exactly is uh, going to be happening next, what has happened over the last, you know, sort of week or so, um, and just, you know, sit down and have a good old chat. Now, you've probably noticed that the reactions are back and the schedule is quite busy. Um, I never really intended it to get this busy because I knew that, you know, kind of, once I do move out, um, it's not it's not going to be difficult to record things back at home, but it may be a little bit I may be a little bit more pressed for time, but it's something that I'm willing to try and you know sort of press on with and do the best that I can. Um, at the moment, I think I've got about seven or eight different shows um, with no particular set schedule right now. It's literally just a case of what I'm doing is I, I'm kind of just recording them in order, so. You know, like today, I've I've got scheduled to record Young Justice, um, Vikings, and Gotham, and you know I just kind of go around in a circle. But there's no sort of set days that they get released on. Um, you know, it's just a, a case of which show haven't I watched? Um, you know, for the longest period of time. Um, but I've got at the moment I'm reacting to My Hero Academia, Young Justice, Fate Slash Zero. It is I am still going to be watching that. Um, it's just a case of I got a copyright strike with the last episode, so um, I took a couple of weeks off from it, but it should hopefully be coming back very soon. Um, then we've got Gotham and Vikings, that's five shows right there. Then we've got Code Gears and Hunter Hunter, which came back this weekend, just gone. And The Dragon Prince, which is another show that I started watching this weekend, which has just been released on Netflix. Uh, that's from the guys who did Avatar The Last Airbender. It's a decent show. Um, the first episode of that has been blocked, as I thought it might do. Um, I have put a dispute in. Hopefully that will be fine. But if not, I've got another version ready to go that blares the episode out. And that's the reason why reactions have gotten so busy, is because I think I found a way to overcome all of the copyright issues that I've been having with specific shows. Um, for years, anyone who's been around for a while will know that for years there's been certain shows that there's difficulty with copyright on. Specifically, they tend to be more anime shows. And no matter what I've tried, whether it's reducing the amount of episode footage shown, whether it's flipping the video, whether it's just outright cutting off some of the video, um, nothing really has seemed to work. Um, you know... Companies can be very, very protective of their content, even though it's kind of, you know, we've had the argument a million times, you know, about it being, you know, transformative and it being a live review and things like that. But um, I think I've come on a way that, you know, they're happy with. People in general seem to be happy with, you know, watching it. It doesn't seem to detract too much from the experience. And I'm happy with. Um, it means a little bit extra effort on my part, but, you know, if it means I get to put the episodes up, then that's great. But um, basically what I do now is I blare the episodes um, so that you still get a general idea what's going on on screen as to which scene it is, um, but you can't see it clearly. And uh, as I say, it seems to have worked so far. I've not had any of those videos um, encounter any issues. Um, I've been doing it for My Hero Academia, I've been doing it for Code Gears and Hunter Hunter, and um, there was one other show that I did it for which um, I was having issues with. I can't remember, I've just literally listed all of the shows that I'm watching, and I've already forgotten. That's just how my brain has worked over the last month. Um, but yeah, with regards to you know what's happening going forward, um, I am due to move out of this flat on the 1st of October. Um, I'll be moving back down to Liverpool for at least a month. I'll probably be staying back with my mum. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to have a job lined up. I had an interview yesterday. It was supposed to be on Skype, but there was some issues um, on the company side with their sort of uh, microphone. So we did it over the phone. Um, but I'm having to go down uh, to Liverpool uh, tomorrow to complete the second part of the interview, which is kind of like, you know, a an in-person sort of test that they do. Um, and, you know, with any luck, it'll be, uh, you know, I'll get the job and it's going to pay the same as I was on before. So I should find myself in a similar situation since to, you know, before all of this happened. Um, I'll just be, you know, further south. And then I hope, I hope that I'll be able to get my own place and, you know, I'll be back to sort of having the freedom of, 
my own time and, you know, sort of being able to run the schedule as, you know, I see fit. So, you know, it may be like a month or so that I'm recording stuff from home, which is going to be weird. Um, I mean, originally when I started this channel, you know, I did I did videos from my own bedroom, which the house that we had, the big family home, was massive. It was like three floors. It had like five bedrooms. And I was on the very top floor. I had the entire top floor to myself. So I had a lot of privacy, um, which made things easy to record, to stream. You know, I didn't have very many distractions. Um, but in this new house that we have, because we've sold that house like over a year ago, um, there's only, you know, like three bedrooms. There's not a lot of space because we've downsized because all of the kids left home. Um, but I think, you know, I, I think I know what I'm going to be doing. And so I should be able to carry on without issue but you know you'll you'll notice a change in background again um there may be times when videos are slow at coming um but again that's why i made the promise that there was no schedule because i don't want to get people's hopes up and then dash them when a day comes along and they're expecting an episode and it just doesn't doesn't arrive um you know and people are asking me in the comments a lot these days when is this coming when's that coming when's this episode gonna be uploaded and it's like i'll try and get it up as quickly as i can but you know, it will come. It's just a case of giving me the time to do it. And, you know, taking on eight shows may be a mistake. Um, but at the end of the day, it's helping me a lot in terms of distracting me. And I'm jo I'm enjoying the shows I'm watching. Um, the likes of Code Geass, I've only got a few episodes left. So, you know, it may be a case of watching that to the end and not replacing it once, you know, it's finished. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just like some of the things that might change over the next month or so. And... Um, you know, once I am kind of back into the whole routine of recording videos and, you know, even when I was, even once I've got my own place down in Liverpool, I really want to get back into streaming kind of like at least two or three times a week. I originally wanted to do that, you know, when me and Alex first broke up, um, but I've just not found the motivation. Um, you know, it's been weird. It's kind of like, whilst I, I can definitely tell that I'm getting better. Um, you know, time definitely does help. There's still kind of a lack of energy that's there um, that I think is associated to still some kind of um, ongoing depression. And it's not as bad as it was, say, a month ago. You know, a month ago when this first kind of happened, you know, I was in a really bad state. Um, I couldn't function. I couldn't move. I just lay in bed and just didn't want to go out and face the world. Now, at least, you know, with time, you know, I, I, I'm able to get up and do stuff. You know, I've been going to work and, um, you know, I'm able to record videos. Um, and I feel mostly normal again. Um, I still have my moments where, you know, I, I feel like crap, but that's natural. Um, so I am slowly but surely getting better, but it's still a kind of uphill battle to get back to the point where I was. And so with that, you know, kind of like, I'll start the day out and I'll think, you know what, today would be a really good day to maybe stream later on. Then it'll get to later on and I'll be tired and I'll just be like, oh, I just don't, I don't know what to play. I don't know what to do. I just, uh, I'm just going to lie down and play Hearthstone or something. And I mean, I could easily do that on stream, but, you know, I just, it's the motivation. Um, and it's nothing to do with you guys. You guys have been fantastic. I, I really want to entertain you as best I can. Um, it's just, at the moment, you know, I kind of have like energy for part of the day and then it goes, but it's getting better. It's getting a lot better. Um, I've got some fantastic friends who've had some fantastic support from, um, you know, my family have been great as well. My dad's going to be coming up to help me sort of move stuff uh, back down to Liverpool. We're going to clear the flat out, clean it up, um, make sure everything's good to go. Um, you know, I've got the next couple of weeks off. I finished up my old job uh, Friday, just gone. Um, and... You know, as I say, I've been applying for new jobs and, and this interview that I had yesterday went really well. Um, and, you know, hopefully it's just going to be a formality of coming in tomorrow uh, on Thursday. It is, um, you know, doing the test they need me to do and then seeing where that goes. Um, but I'll be away for the next couple of days. So obviously I'll be back in Liverpool from um, Wednesday to Friday. I hopefully should have videos scheduled to go live on those days, but I can't make any promises. Um, there'll definitely be videos today and tomorrow, um, but Thursday, Friday, we'll see. Um, I'm going to do my best to get them up for you, though. 
And then Friday, we have the finale of The Things We Leave Behind, which is kind of like the secondary D&D story that we've been playing. Um, anyone who knows Tortured Boy, um, he's actually going to be running the session, the finale. Normally, it's Joey from Geek House. Um, but it's going to be uh, Tortured Boy this time around. It's going to be great. Um, if you haven't seen D&D or haven't seen me play D&D, there is a playlist up of our Reactors and Realms game, which is like 30 sessions long. It's like 120 odd hours, um, but it's well worth the watch. Um, speaking of Reactors and Realms, that's back on Saturday on Geek House's channel. We're back for uh, season two. And I honestly don't know what's going to happen. We had an epic finish to season one. Um, and I just, I, I adore everyone who plays in that game. I adore, you know, Joey who runs the game. Um, it's a fantastic, you know, time to sort of putting in that much time and effort into a game, you know, from the outside, you may, may think, well, why it's just a game, but it's really, it's more than that. It's so, um, enthralling and, you know, it's just, it, it's like a great escape and the storytelling is brilliant and the players are brilliant. Um, it's just well worth, you know, sort of putting time into it. And I'm sure that watching it is great for you as well. We, we we're seeing the audience go up and up and up. You know, we started off with like 10 people who would watch it. Um, and then, you know, from when we first started live streaming it, we get like 10 people coming in and watching. And now, you know, I think last session we hit like 35, 40 people who were watching. Um, so it is growing. And, you know, obviously if, if you've not seen Dungeons and Dragons before, I would recommend it because it is a great game. And, you know, if you can get a great group of players together, it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, so, you know, the next few days are going to be quite busy, uh, going to be traveling. Um, I'll hopefully have another update for you at the end of the week. Um, and hopefully the videos will still be coming up. Um, I might try and stream this weekend. I really will try, but uh, it'll probably be Sunday if that's the case. But I can't make any promises. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Um, as I say, things are going... Actually... No, I, I won't update you on how my diet's going because that's been a big focus of the last few months. Um, and, you know, I want to talk to you guys about that and keep you up to date and be honest with you. Um, obviously, the diet was going great. And I got about three months in, I lost three stone, which is like 42 pounds. And, um, you know, then the breakup happened. And I found that initially I had the desire to sort of be like, well, look, this is the one good thing I've got going on right now going to stick to the diet and I'm going to carry on losing the weight and getting healthy. Um, that, well, unfortunately that motivation didn't last too long. Um, since sort of like, I'd say three weeks ago, I've not really been following the diet. I've not been eating bad. Um, and you know, I've not been going crazy, but I've definitely found myself kind of just being a bit more relaxed in terms of what I'm eating and, and having more and more cheat days. Um, you know, as a result, I've kind of put on um, about seven or eight pounds. Um, but I'm still, you know, I've said to myself, look, when I get back from going home to Liverpool, I'm getting back on it. I'm back at the point now where I think I've got the energy again and the motivation to actually uh, enforce the discipline that I had before. The problem was, is that, you know, when you lose motivation, you lose discipline. And when you lose discipline, you give into all kinds of cravings. And the more you give into those cravings, the stronger they get. Um, but I'm back at the point now where I feel like I've got the energy for that motivation, which will help, you know, with the discipline, which will help curb the cravings. Um, and so, you know, it could have been a lot worse. Trust me. If this had been me six months ago, I probably would have put on 20 pounds, you know? Um, and so I'm still looking at over, you know, two stone lost, um, from when I started and that's where I picked myself back up from. Which, you know, if you just said to me six months ago, hey, you know what, you're going to put on a couple of pounds, but you're still going to be like two and a half stone lighter than you are now, I'd be like, yeah, well, I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that. That's a good starting point. Um, so I'm hoping by Christmas I will have lost another you know, couple of stone maybe. Um, maybe get to around the overall four to five stone mark lost. And, um, you know, I'll keep you guys updated with the progress. So, yes, anyway... Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go record a buttload of videos. Um, drink a lot of coffee because it's early in the morning. And uh, yes, I will keep you up to date with what's going on. See you uh, 
potentially for a live stream on Sunday, um, but definitely for live streams on Geek House's channel for D&D Friday and Saturday, and obviously videos throughout the week. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.